to a brand new vlog. It is currently 4.16 in the morning. What is homegirl doing up this late? Oh, you know. I just found it hard to sleep in bed without my husband. There's like this new game that came out. Yeah, he stayed up all night and I blame him for my lack of sleep. So I'm about to hit the gym at five in the morning. Who is she? She's a little crazy. Here's the thing. I don't ever really use these cameras because I, I don't know how to use this. That's where we're at in life. Let me just change. <laughs> Hello, shout out to Parallel Apparel for this cute top. This week, where was I? See, this is how my brain works, okay? Let me just spill it. Kind of like bored with YouTube, that's okay. I actually really appreciate all these new changes that are happening and almost like so many creators not posting because they're moving into like other types of things. Like I respect it, I think it's really cool. I think for me, I just don't want to stop this routine that I have in my life, which is recording because it keeps me sane and it makes me feel really good. This week I've ate like crap. I just got back from LA. I came back from my beautiful friend Michelle's wedding and it was absolutely amazing. I'm not a good traveler. Like I don't do well without routine and I wish I could say like, oh, I want to travel one week to like France and then the next week to like Africa and all of that stuff because yeah, but I just can't. I need routine and I need to be home and I'm very much a homebody. I bought this thing that honestly doesn't work. It literally does nothing and it cost me like $200. I paid for this. It's bananas. See, there's one thing about me. My Latin mom taught me to never go anywhere without your earrings. So I just can't. My Bible, which I literally haven't read in a very long time. This is a little odd. This is definitely weird. This is like a new type of video. I just feel like for the longest time, I just kind of want to post on this channel without thinking too much about it. Like it hurts me. It hurts my head to think so hard on this channel. In my heart, I'm like, I know what I want to do and I know what I desire to create, but I'm just like not doing it. And even though this isn't exactly it, it might get me close to it. So I might as well try. It's been an off day in a good way. Sometimes you need that. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this early in the morning class with zero sleep. <laughs> oh my gosh, we ran out of the protein. So Jupiter got a little bath. This lady came over and it was amazing. It honestly, first of all, was cheaper. Second of all, she was super sweet, took really great care of him. And third of all, I didn't have to take him to the groomers, which is like always a nightmare. So I'm really happy that we find, we found, we find her. I think I need sleep, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go the whole day without sleep, yeah. I don't know how to put this higher. So here's like my intention for this vlog. Every time I ask you guys, what do you want to see? You guys say, hey, I want to see more vlog. I want to see more like day in the life videos. And I'm cool with that because to be honest, I'm kind of at the point where <laughs> I'm really lazy to create content. I want to focus my energy like more on connecting with you guys. And then also just like being able to work on other projects. And sometimes when I dedicate so much time to my YouTube videos, it's a lot of work, first of all. And second of all, you guys don't really like it that much. I totally get it. I don't really love highly produced content. So I'm like, why am I making highly produced content? I think it's just because like I've gotten used to it. So I thought today the intention here is like a really long ass vlog. Like I want to be with you <laughs> for like 30 minutes today. I just want to hang out with you. Like if we could be FaceTiming right now in some capacity, I feel like it will help me get through my day. I've noticed that whenever I record myself, it kind of like helps me go about my day. It's almost like relaxing to me to record myself doing what I'm supposed to be doing. If you guys don't have ADHD, basically this is what I've learned because I'm obviously not an expert. It's very difficult to prioritize things. And so I find Find myself doing that a lot right so like for example like i'll sit in front of my to-do list like feeling so overwhelmed and i'll like rewrite it over and over and over again trying to understand what should i be prioritizing and then dennis will leave for a little bit and he'll be like okay work on this and by the time he comes back i'm still like staring at my to-do list like something got in the way i had to like text someone or some kind of distraction and it's not even social media half the time it's literally like just around my house so one little hack that i found that helps people with adhd is basically like having someone over you kind of like looking at your work or someone in the room like kind of shadowing you and so that's what i feel like the vlog is to me it's kind of like i should do this so let me vlog it so oh my god dennis is being so loud right now i'm like how can i even alaya officially it was her one year it's so crazy to me because i don't know how we survived like the day came and i was like 
I was feeling good. Like I was afraid for the day, but I was like, I, I was feeling okay. So I even got dressed up. I like work was great. And then it was like 5 p.m. And I was like, oh my God, I'm done early. Or well, I'm done on time. And all of a sudden like anxiety started kind of trickling in. And then I'm getting all these text messages kind of like from friends and family being like, hey, thinking of you, let me know how you're doing. And it just like hit me. I was like repressing her. I was like, I need to get out of the house. So I told Dennis, I was like, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna pick up my uncle. I'm gonna take him to sushi because it just so happens that his birthday is also October 24th, her birthday. So I went with him and I took my parents and I noticed as I was driving, I immediately was like getting very anxious and I was getting all these flashbacks from that night. It just like all hit me all at once because I was fine all day. And then I get to the restaurant and we're like eating sushi. I'm smiling, but inside I'm like literally panicking i'm feeling anxious it's just like i'm getting flashbacks from the night it's crazy how your body like will suppress emotions i excuse myself i go to the restroom i call dennis i'm crying on the phone in the bathroom i'm like you need to come and pick me up there's no way i can like drive out of here i'm so panicked i'm anxious i'm getting flashbacks like i don't know what's going on so dennis was like it's okay like you got this after a little husband pep talk i went back sat down faked it if that makes sense like i was trying to fake happiness i went to church the other day oh, because my cousin invited me i haven't been to church in a very long time it's been hard for me like truly like with god i hate that i like i'm angry at him like i hate that it's not like me at all because he got me through this like when she passed he literally got me through everything but then i just felt all this anger all of a sudden and it's something i haven't been able to like shake off so i went to church they were talking about grief. And it was just kind of explaining how just because you are choosing to be happy again, it doesn't mean that you are you don't love that person. For me, there's something with the year mark that it just felt like such a big moment. <laughs> like a part of me doesn't want to heal fully. I don't want to stop grieving her. And another part of me is like, you need to. Like it's not healthy. I'm just like struggling with that. I just wanted to share that. And it's 4.37 and I should get my ass to the gym. Thanks for coming to my little talk. That class was brutal and I no longer hear Dennis. My husband just went to sleep without me. <laughs> tell me how Mr. Sassy Boy was already asleep by the time I got home and Helga just arrived. I love waking up early because it's literally like I feel so relaxed. It's like no one's bugging me. No one's texting me. The whole world is asleep. I feel like I just have so much time for myself. So I don't even know what I'm going to do right now. Like I'm making myself some tea. I'm actually watching Chins and Giggles, Karina Garcia and Myra's podcast. I have fallen in love with this. I don't know. It's just like a good time, you know? I just have so much time to spare. What am I going to do? So I've always been really low in iron because like I believe a lot so dennis started giving me like liver which i know is a little bit weird if you're colombian you've had liver and it's okay it's just like a thing so i started having liver ever since i did my period cramps are not as bad as before so i feel like that's been really helpful i saw this little hack on tiktok for some reason like protein shakes are supposed to help with your adhd i don't know i'm gonna let this like freeze out for a little bit because then i'm gonna get really bad cramps since it's too cold I feel like usually day to day, whenever I'm recording on this channel, everything's really bright. But I don't know if you've noticed in this video, everything's very like little glimpses of light because that's kind of how I like to live in my house. You know, nothing to be so like shocking on the eyes. But anyways, Dennis is bringing me Taco Bell and I'm so freaking happy. I switched out all of like my makeup stuff because I have room over here. My whole thing with my house is I just want to put every work stuff that's related to work all in one place. Place, so like my mind knows when it's time to turn off. So this is like the entire area I really do want to get back into journaling like this is my little journaling corner I purchased all these really cute freaking stickers Like I posted the Daiso haul and I bought all this really cute stuff and I haven't used it and it's just Really hard for me to journal. It just takes like being in a good mindset if that makes sense I'm just not Hey, Jupy. Sometimes I look at Jupiter and I just like, what am I gonna do when you're not in my life? You are my purpose. Do you understand that? Mm, it's just me gordo. He came at the perfect time in my life. Hi, honey. I'm not two feet tall. <laughs> you're, you're the mystery man. How have you been, Hansa? I feel like you haven't been on. on what here. is this for? <laughs> vlog, <laughs> name. The main channel. We don't even vlog anymore. Come on. I'm deciding to switch the vlog to maybe Why something so else. Oh, no. See, he's the one bringing the hospital vibes. I'm bringing the happiness. You're no. in the dark. It's too dark. Can we take a look at all this gorgeousness? First, we have this. Mm -hmm. Then we have a Baja Blast. 
Why do you gotta record? You're exposing me, girl. You know, I think this is the beauty of vlogs. He's Mostly. vomiting. No, he's not. He's vomiting. Do you wanna know what Jupiter does, guys? He literally pretends to be choking so we could look at him. Look, he's fine again. This My so cousin's funny. trying to be <laughs> go big on Twitch. This is your brother. Oh, he posted a TikTok where he talked about going to the gym and seeing a lot of d in the locker room. And then he posted it and then it got. Like, it was his it was first like, viral video, okay? And it was like a lot of gay dudes. And then he was so like, it's a lot of oh my God, now I have a gay audience. <laughs> and it's just what so am funny. I supposed to do? And I'm like, just make another video. Like that happened. <laughs> Cooper, <laughs> you're totally okay. Wow, this one's really good. This does look like a pizza you guys. It's a quesadilla. Quesadilla. Is that me. the Mexican He's pizza? He's like, why don't you hug me? Why don't you kiss me? <laughs> yes, I love you. <laughs> it was a really pretty shot. <laughs> 